Hey guys, today I'm filming my year-long makeup project pan finale for 2023. So proud of everything I've been able to get through this year and I'm really looking forward to next year's year-long project pan. And instead of showing you what I used up and then what I didn't, I'm just going to show you the products in the order I apply them and you can guess whether I finish them or not. It has only been about six weeks since my last update instead of my typical eight, but I'm behind, I'm trying to get caught up and I feel okay with where I'm at with six weeks worth of progress. So let's start with perfume. I had the travel spray size of the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. So do you think I finished it? Yes, I did. So we were here at the last update. Was not hard to get through. This is something that I do really enjoy and I already have it in a one ounce size. I compare this to YSL Black Opium except it doesn't have as much of a tobacco scent. It's a little bit sweeter. And then I did also finish up this little sample of the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I absolutely love this. This is a perfume that I fell in love with in... 2022 and I have a little purse spray size of that as well so I love getting these little samples to use up whenever I can definitely recommend this perfume I'll have the notes on the screen as well I actually usually don't like the flower bomb perfumes or the other Victor and Rolf perfumes but this one is fantastic and then I had the Dr. Brandt pores no more primer did I finish that no, of course not. I had like half the product left. This is something that I was just tracking the progress because I had already used up my original tube. And this is something that I've been weighing. It. I remember last time being pretty close to below the writing. Now it looks a little bit further down. Maybe we've got a third left, but this is something I was taking the weights for. So when I first put it into the project 1.529, then 1.325, 1.306, 1.295. Last update was 1.138 and today is 1.095. And I just started using this again probably the past two weeks because this formula works really well with the primer in my winter project, but it did not work well with the glow recipe primer that I had in my charmed project pan so this is something that is going to be rolling over into my project for next year to hopefully use up next we have my NARS light reflecting foundation did I finish that hell yeah I did thank god you guys I was using this as a mixer for six months such a long time I did scrape it out if you guys can tell that it looks super disgusto. I did weigh this without the cap because it is such heavy glass packaging. So when I had first rolled it in, 3.427, then 3.225, 2.952, today 2.737. So, so happy to have gotten this used up. I don't think this is good at all. This really gives me like skin tint vibes, but way too expensive and it's not as long wearing. It doesn't look as beautiful on the skin. So I would recommend skin tints over this. So not something that I would repurchase. I know a lot of people love it, but it was just not for me, but I'm so glad I got my money's worth. Next we had my Dominique Cosmetics Concealer. Did I finish it? Yes, I did. This is what I was using as a corrector. I really was not sure if I was going to finish it. When I got to the end, I did take my little makeup spatula, scoop it out and put it in a sample jar. And because I love this cooling tip so much, I was putting this in the sample jar to pick up product and apply it under my eyes. This is really incredible. I love this formula and I think this applicator picks up enough product for one eye and then you need to do another dip for the second eye. I think that's totally fine. This is a very pigmented formula so you don't need a ton of it. This is not something where you need to like shellac it on your face. It blends out really effortlessly. I would say this gives like solid medium coverage and it has more of a satin finish so really fantastic i would love to buy this in my correct shade if i could get it decently discounted free shipping you know all of those things i mean if this is something that i could get with like just a 20 percent off coupon at ulta i would totally buy it this is just really really good i would love for their shade range to expand this was shade number three and i think i need shade number two that one has more neutral undertones but this is amazing so underrated do you think i finished my nyx bear with me concealer 
absolutely. I had the idiot babyest bit left last time. This is in the shade light. I was literally all the way up here. I think I had like two more applications. And you can see I started down here. This is a product that pumps up. And I actually really love the formula of this concealer, but I've told you guys before, I wish it was in a packaging that had a doe foot wand because I prefer applying concealer that way. But this packaging is very sanitary. So this would be great for a makeup artist. I do know some people that like to use this as foundation and then this pump works perfectly. But it's also good though, if you're putting this on blemishes because we really should not be putting a doe foot on an actual blemish and put it back in the jar. I think we we do that, but like we probably shouldn't. So I know my sister uses this on blemishes and works really well for her. And I don't know that I will repurchase this though because this shade is a little dark for my under eyes. Good skin tone match, but a little dark for my under eyes. And I've heard that Fair is really pale and I probably would need to mix them. But we'll see, Fair is an online only shade, even though the shade range is not gigantic. So annoying. But anyways, this is really good. I would recommend it if you don't mind more of a pump applicator. But I would say that this has more of like a medium coverage, natural finish, really fantastic product. One of the best drugstore concealers by far. And then do you think I finished my mixing concealer, the Benefit Boing Cakeless? Yes, I finished this as well, which is great. I was a little nervous about this. I did scrape this out with a spatula also. So when I had rolled this in, it started at 0.882 ounces, then 0 0.831, 0 0.780, and today all used up 0.726. I like this applicator size because it's not as big as Shape Tape, but it is bigger than a typical doe foot and it has a little bit of a hole in here a little bit of a well to hold extra product which is great this again gives a really like nice medium coverage has more of like a satin finish this is a good concealer if i got it in pr again i would definitely use it up but i don't think i would repurchase this i still like tarte shape tape the best for my under eyes so good product just not my absolute number one do you think i finished my bare minerals bare skin sheer sun serum bronzer so kind of so i had this packaging here and i ended up shaking the shite out of it into this little jar from shop miss a which is a 15 mil jar and i had gotten you know it filled up like this much right well i have been working on it and working on it under and over my foundation and this is what it looks like in here. I literally have one more use. I will use it tomorrow, but I needed to film this video today and I'm going to call this an empty, which is amazing. You guys know that I've been working on this for literal years. I've used this as a mixer, as a liquid bronzer. And I do think that this is a nice formula, but this shade is a little bit more orangey. I wish they could do a little bit more of a neutral shade, but I mean, this is a product that's been discontinued for years as well. And I'm really looking forward to be able to try out some other products that I have. I do have the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops, Physicians Formula, Butter, Bronzer, Liquid product. But yeah, I am going to officially call this done. But for the weights for this started at 1.650, then 1.632, 1.631, 1.58, 1.63, 1.64, last update 1.261 and mostly empty packaging 1.041 i got most of this out as much as i could and i made a freaking mess so i'm not gonna do anything crazy to get any little less drip drops out of here i absolutely have gotten my money's worth and that is literally like my biggest accomplishment of the year then i had my benefit goof proof eyebrow pencil last update i told you guys that i couldn't see any visible progress and i must have mismarked it Y'all, I don't know what's happening. This is turning into It Cosmetics Brow Power because there's no visible progress this month either. I'll have a picture on the screen, but there's just no progress. So there's quite a big chunk left in here. I was hoping to finish this by the end of the year, but I rolled this in maybe after two updates. And this type of pencil just takes so long to get through because I use a micro brow to you know shape the brows and then this to fill in so this is something i will finish next year totally fine that i didn't get all the way through that this is something more where i was tracking the progress anyway so i forgot to even play the game did i finish this or not i think we all know that i 
well it's not going to miraculously finish that in a month unless it broke but lastly we have my jack black lip balms do you think i finish the classic intense therapy lip balm in natural mint kind of as well so this is a product where if i cut it open i would definitely get more the panner in me wants to do that the person that has two backups and several other lip balms says heather don't bother so i'm not going to do it i have been contorting and twisting and manipulating this so much i will continue for the rest of the day to contort it to see if i can get out any more product this way but as of you know the end of the night i am going to be calling this an empty i feel really good about that i mean i look i used up absolutely a ton of this this is a lip balm that I really love and again I have two backups of and this expired February is supposed to expire February 2024 so I beat it before expiration and I've had this for a while though so that's good that these last a while so I roll this in I've had this in four updates now including the finale it rolled in at 0.389 then 0.327 last update 0.265 today 0.211 so very happy with that and lastly do you think I finished my nighttime Jack Black lip balm of course not I've only been working on this for like three or four months because my Laneige lip sleeping mask took most of the year so this is the jack black night mode lip treatment i finish about half of this which feels really good so my beginning weight was 0.448 last update 0.395 today 0.327 so this is something that i will also roll into next year's project to get used up so you guys this is amazing i really was not sure about my corrector definitely not sure about the nars foundation or about the bare minerals with a bronzer and i really feel amazing that i was able to get through these such a good accomplishment i did not want to take these into next year it was already killing me that i was still working on them in december when i start my winter project but they have been finished and i am so so proud of myself i am feeling so confident that i cannot wait for you guys to see my video for next year because i added in a, a ton of stuff first off and then again a lot of full-size essentially brand new products so it's going to be a challenging year but hopefully a fun challenge and i thank you guys so much for watching this video i do have a couple other project pans going on right now my winter project pan my charmed project pan i should have b no i should be or I just did, I don't know, it's right around here posting the finale for this year's non-makeup rolling project pan. And then my intro will be coming soon. So I would love if you would check my other project pans on my channel as well. I would love to know what projects you're doing right now. What is your biggest accomplishment of a product that you finished this year? I also cannot wait for my year of makeup empties. Oh, it's gonna be so good guys, I cannot wait. Except for like doing the math, I'm not going to enjoy that. But anyway guys, Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.